Hello, Shadowcat back with Spellcaster University, and we're back to Pig's Pimple. What are we doing here? I'm not sure. At this point, I think we're just accruing mana and dealing with whatever comes our way. For example, we have the orcs who are here, and they say we're hungry. Uh, okay. The humans will find us something to eat. Otherwise, we'll eat the human and the small humans living in the human house. We'll also eat the house that the human and small humans live in, and probably the human's pets too, with some herbs and aromatics. Uh, no, we have nothing to give you. Sorry, but we don't. Alright, so we need cards to play, and I think today we need to work on building reputation. Not exactly sure how we do that, but we're going to go and visit people. So, first things first, let's draw us a card. And we can actually get a few cards. So we got us a stable, and we got a greenhouse, and a war drum. We got uh, one of each of these already, so let's get a better... Hmm. We do have to deal with that troll. Perhaps more beast magic would help me with that. So, we're going to get into the stable, and we're going to stack the stable. There we go. Upgraded. Stable. Doesn't seem that upgraded. But, you know, sure, I guess. What else can we get? So we can get another dolmen, which will help with druidism. A pig chamber? <gasps> well, I mean, this is pig's pimple. So we need to get a pig chamber. We, we gotta have one. Alright. Um, where does it go? Up here seems good, actually. There we go. A pig chamber. <gasps> They're messenger guinea pigs! That is incredible. I don't even like guinea pigs, and I like this. There's a catapult! They literally catapult them! Oh, is he coming up to be catapulted? Oh my! Are you gonna do it? <gasps> I can only imagine. Godspeed to you, guinea pig! Oh, he's going to do it. <gasps> oh, that was great. It was just like, yeet. <laughs> oh, that was great. Oh, our reputation is way up. Look at that. We have 36 reputation. Or, no, that's prestige. 36 prestige. Uh, let's see. So... Uh, we also have a potted unicorn. Active characters in this room have a chance of creating unicorn horn component cards. Or a mandragore. Active characters in this room have a chance of creating mandragore root. This thing is both fauna and flora, somehow. Or we could get yet another stable. Another stable means that it would be more efficient. means more mana. means more of these cards, I think. So we're going to upgrade our stable while we can. So let's let's zoom in on it. Wait, hold on. What's this? Uh, the Solstice Balls are on the corner. This is a good opportunity to forget the war. What are you preparing? Um, well, for some nature mana, we can get another Dolmen, which will help us upgrade our room. Or we can just get money for another Refectory. Uh, we're going to go with the nature magic, though. So there we go. There's another Dolmen. So let's zoom in, and Dolmen. Doesn't look that different. I don't know, but they're having fun, and that's the important part. So let's come over here to the stable, and stable. Oh, we got rugs. <gasps> and a tiny baby guinea pig corn. Unipig? Uniguinea? I have no idea. It is kind of cute, though. Alright, Fragmented Sleep. 
The giant forest troll rides. Be careful. He's going to wake up. Okay, well, I can't help that. We don't have alchemists. Let's get into the cart. So, there's an ent pine. Uh, this teaches magic to students in the room according to the seasons. Druidism in the spring, elementalism in the summer, necromancy in the fall and winter, and it generates prestige. Ooh. That would help us diversify a little bit. That could be useful. Hmm. Okay, well, well, let's think about it. We can get into the pig chamber. So, birds are outdated technology. With its aerodynamic contours, the guinea pig is the messenger of the future. <laughs> or we can get into the dolmen. Um, I kind of want to get the ant pine. We're going to get the ant pine. Where can we put it? Um. Oh, wait. It's a... Ooh, hold on a second. It's not a room. Oh, wait. Um. So, thanks to their pitiful magical skills, Fiona scores... Uh, I can't pronounce that. Has become a... Peasant. This actually lowers our, our prestige. Oh, uh, let's, let's, let's try re-rolling it. Okay, you could also be an herbalist. Um, that's that's better. That's better. At least we don't lose prestige because of it. Okay. And you have also become a peasant. Why? Uh, no. We, you are just a peasant. I'm sorry. You are just terrible at this. Uh, you. So, Clementine Troyes Flores? You have become a Ritual Master, which will give us 50 natural mana. Sure. Thank you. And thanks to your green thumb and diligence in Druidism, Paul Glass Glasscastlis has become a Gardener. Fantastic! I don't know if they're actually graduating or not. I'm not sure what that actually means. But, you know what? Okay, sure, great, whatever. Alright, Ent Pine. So the Ent Pine teaches Druidism, which means it'd be fantastic in here. There we go. So there's the Ent Pine. Now, right now it is... Oh, it literally just turned to spring. So now it's going to teach people Druidism. That's great. Can we get more cards? No. We could buy more cards from the standard deck, though. Can we? No, we can't. It takes 350. All right, what do we got going on here? They're back. Our downstairs neighbors are back. We must defend the school once more. Um, okay. Well, we can't really do anything else against it, so... Where are they coming from? Oh, they're coming from here. Defend the school! Oh, I guess we're going to do this first. Um, we do have new applications. Just one. So, Henrietta Vilberquin. You're smart. You're well off. You're chaotic good. You're courageous. You go with the cat burbs. And here we go. Stop those skeletons! Oh, now you face a werewolf in combat. Bet you regret that, don't you? Alright, how hurt are you? Uh, you're actually pretty hurt. You should go lay down somewhere. Ooh, you even have a shamanic staff. That's cool. That means you're level 2 in something. Okay. Fantastic. Great. What else do we have going on? Alright, we paid salaries. Um... You want to apply. So, you're athletic. You're also a goth. That that should be a reason to toss you out of here. You're poor. Um, you're pretty intelligent. Uh, you can go with the general class. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and buy a card. We can get into the common room. Which is good. But we don't have any more... Um, well, actually, no, we do need one more. I take it back. 
We can get into the common room. Boom! There we go. And this one will go to the cat burbs. There we go. Fantastic. I love it. Now, we cannot afford any more cards. In fact, uh, I hope we don't have to pay fees anytime soon because we're kind of out of gold. Alright, so what else are we doing now? Um, let's talk to people. Uh, yes. Let's contact them. So, I am currently extremely busy. What do you need? So, we had these before. This is new, though. So, are all these forms really necessary to rule the kingdom? Sure, let's ask. The administrative hurdle. Of course it's useful. How do you intend on managing the flow of Pushnell's inter-village inter potions import-export business? Hmm. It would be a relief for the king not to have to think about that. We would have more if we had a crystal ball, a potion workshop, or one room scriptorium. Mm, but we don't. However, this will still give us more, re our more reputation with them. So that's great. I wonder who else we can talk to. So what about the village? Oh, I guess I can't talk to them right now. I guess it's too late in the day. That's that's fine. We're going to get into the cart. So there's a lunar calendar, another stable, or another pig chamber. We don't have one of these. Active students in this room have a small chance of becoming werewolves, especially if they're good at druidism. Ooh, some say lycanthropy has more to do with darkness than with druidism, but werewolves disagree, probably because they don't want to become associated with vampires. I agree. No one should be associated with vampires. All right, can we put it in this room? This room is getting a little full. Uh, no. Can't put it in here. Can't put it in here. We could put it in the janitor's office. Yeah, we'll do that. So there we go. There's a lunar calendar for the janitor's office. How are we doing up here? Are we still launching guinea pigs? We are. Oh, wait, hold on. Uh, we can't keep this up, sir. Grading all that homework takes an eternity, and our students don't help. They're so utterly incompetent. The beds are like bricks, our meals are paltry, not to mention our wages. This is why my uh, colleagues have one demand to make a special box that makes great coffee. Uh, well, if we had alcohol, we could uh, discuss this over drinks. If I had gold, we could buy one, but we don't have any. We just lost five prestige. And there goes another guinea pig. Well, that sucks. I need a better way to make gold. Just don't know how. I could charge more for students to come here. But then we're going to get less students. Alright, what are you doing? So, you are a little bit slow. You are well behaved, though. Um, go ahead. Pegasus Rider Duel? Hi! I have to inform you that the Interschool Pegasus Tournament will be held soon. Stop me if I'm wrong, but your school has no team. Is that right? Uh, no, we do not have a team. Uh, so we could just say we have no interest, all that matters here is knowledge. That will give us mana of every single type. That could be useful. Or we could just say, give me a moment, someone else is calling and put the event on hold. Problem is, if we do that, the thing is, we need a Pegasus. Or we could get, if we could pay for it, we could get the card Stadium. Hmm. Um. Hold on. Let's see if we can get the Stadium. So we'll put that on hold for a minute. We'll build up our gold reserves. When we have enough, we'll get the Stadium. Right now, we just need more... 
more of these mana decks. I'm starting to think that maybe specializing in one was maybe a bad idea. Because these cards are getting just so expensive. Whereas if we had more mana, I could be doing other things right now. And we just paid wages. What's this? All right, we could be going and, and talking to people. Can we talk to these people now? Yes, meeting the peasants. What do you want? Quick, you're scaring the cows. You can indeed see a few big pink animals, their tiny corkscrew tails swinging left and right as they run away. Did they mistake pigs for cows? Okay, so, options. Um, so I could say we were going to explain about the cows. That would take, like, all of our, um... All of our nature mana. <laughs> However, it would give us plus 20 reputation with them. That could be useful. Or, we could say, look, uh, we, we have the fertility potions. Which would also give us, you know, more reputation with them. And this... Hmm. Nah, we don't want that anyway. So we're going to give them fertility potions. Yeah, fertility potions for them. That takes a little bit of our mana, but it gives us more reputation, which is good. What's this? Thanks to their pitiful magical skills, Hilda has become a peasant. <sighs> nope, you're just a peasant. I'm sorry. You're a terrible student. And you, being attracted to life with beasts more than magic, you have become a shepherd. We get 100 natural mana and 100 gold. That's useful! You're very good. Due to their middling magical talents, Kira has become a village mage. I see nothing wrong with that, and we'll get a little bit of mana of each type. Sure. Thanks to their green thumb and diligence in druidism class, Sylvia has become a gardener, which gives us 150 natural mana. Done! And thanks to their wisdom and empathy for nature, Jessica has become a druid, which gives us one more prestige in five! Hundred natural mana. Thanks to their great knowledge of plants, Eleanor has become an herbalist. All potions are now more efficient. We don't really do potions, but sure. Thanks to their creativity and varied talents, Negaprion has become an adventure which gives us 200 gold. Yes! Thanks to their pitiful magical skills, Mog is going to be a peasant. Can we try that again? No, you're just a peasant. Okay. So, uh, thanks to your pitiful magical skills, Marrow is going to become a peasant as well. We can try. Nope, you're just a peasant. Uh, due to your middling magical talents, you have become a village mage. That's alright. Uh, we could try to reroll you. I mean, there's a chance you become a peasant or dead, but maybe you become a gardener. No, you've actually become a peasant. It's even worse now. <laughs> All right. Well, we deserve that. Thanks to their green thumb, Valeria has become a gardener. Yes. Okay. Well, we're down to 31 prestige now. We're not doing great. But look at how much mana we have now. Okay, so, a plant that eats scholars' hands. Active characters in this room lose a lot of boredom, but also lose a bit of health. This plant was previously only used in botanical studies, but since they've been placed in the kitchen to or since they've been placed in the kitchen to clean the dishes. <laughs> or we could get a wood set from the World Tree. Active in this character's uh, active characters in the same room generate some prestige. Hmm. Okay. Or we can get another dolman. I think we're gonna go with the um, we're gonna go with the prestige. We'll get the wood set from the world tree, and we'll put that over here with the teachers. I think. Can I? No. I guess we can put it in the refectory then. There we go. So we now have fancy plates and cups. You know, made of wood. All right, let's take the nature deck again. We can get a wolf's tooth. Uh, when a student is at least one level in beast magic and herbalism, they get a wolf's tooth. 
They now move 20% faster. I like it. Or we get a totem. Active students in this room slightly improve their druidism skills. Okay, or another stable. We're going to get a wolf's tooth. That should give lots of students a wolf's tooth. Teaching tools. Uh, we need new tools. The ones we are, are reusing are old and used up. We cannot keep going like this. Uh, well, we have the gold. So here's some new manuals. And that gives us a spell book. Where can we put the spell book? Ooh, I can put some stuff up here, too. I can put stuff in the common rooms. Um, is there anywhere over here? Maybe. But I don't want to put it in those rooms. So we're going to put it here in the refectory. There we go. So now there's a spell book. Students have a small chance of getting a specialization at a random school. Why not? So now we can't afford anything. We don't have enough gold. We don't have enough nature magic. Our prestige has gone up, though, so that's nice. All right, who can we visit now? Let's go talk to the guildies. No, we can't? Oh, guess we can't talk to anyone. Is it just because it's the wrong type of time of day? The candles are all out. Huh. Okay. Well, in that case, we'll just let them do their thing. What do we got here? New applicants. So you're courageous. You go with the cat burps. You're just a light sleeper. You can go with the general class. And what is this? A dungeon for the guild. Hmm. Hey, you. I'd like to talk to you. Me and the others have a guild, or of the at the guild, have found a few dangerous places to explore. The thing is that our numbers are a bit down these days, so I would like to ask you to explore one for us. You can keep the treasures. We'll be happy to know the region is rid of some of the evil that's been devouring it. Okay. Um. So I guess now we get to explore a dungeon. So we can take a small dungeon, the ancient sewers. We can take an Archmage Tower, a Grey Mountain Cave, or we can just say no, we're focused on handling the school's budget. 2,000 gold! Um, I'm curious to try it, but we could really use the gold. No, I actually really want to do a dungeon. I really want to do a dungeon. I'm not going to take the practical option. So, why don't we send people to the cave? Most of our students are nature types. So, yeah. Let's go Let's go check out a cave. Alright. So, sneaky... Doo -doo -doo -doo. I don't see it. Hmm. Maybe I have to wait for that then. Oh no, there it is. It's right there. The Grey Mountain Cave. Yes, let's send an expedition. Ooh, hold on. I actually have to be careful about this. So, I need to send out students who can handle this. So, what do we have available? Insect swarms, which are part of beast magic. Healing herbs, which are part of herbalism, which is good. We need to send an herbalist. Then we also have um, Wild Fury, which is part of Druidism. Hmm. He's courageous, so he does plus one damage to monsters. That's something good to, uh, to look out for. I really want to send my best students. Um, he's a coward, so he's not going. You, however, are a really skilled mage. You're going. Um, okay, got it. You're good. You're in. Oh, and you have the spell, uh, Magic Bolt. That's, that's great. So, let's see. You, however, are a really skilled healer. What else do we have? Um, you are really skilled in Insect Swarm, which paralyzes. 
or Wild Fury. So you're very offensive. You get to go too. What else do we have? Um, you're great with Wild Fury. So I think I want you to go too? You are a great healer. You're also courageous, which gives you additional damage. So Jeremy and Sonya, you're pretty much exactly the same. Um, ooh, look at you. You are a werewolf, and you are really good with the, uh, the Wild Fury. Um, but I actually think I'm going to stick up here with some of my better students. I think Garhol, I think we're going to send you too. So yeah, we'll send you too. What is this? Wild Fury and Druidism? Sure. Magic Bolt. Magic Bolt. Okay, so everyone has Magic Bolt. I think this should work. Let's start the adventure. Uh, so the Grey Mountain Caves. The ancient tunnels that wind under the Grey Mountains were dug by a forgotten people and have long been abandoned. Nowadays, the worst creatures out there use them as lairs in a base of operations from which to launch raids on local villages. Alright, here we go. The Wandering Architect. A heavily armed dwarven warrior hails you. As she twirls her large sword, she explains how she's been studying the architecture around here in hopes of becoming a master builder, but needs some protection while she takes notes. Killing goblins is quite distracting. Um, no, we'll help. We will absolutely help. I th I'm sure we can handle goblins. We handled skeletons. All right. The Dwarven Warrior is taken with excitement as she looks at the roof to discover a gigantic ribbed vault, which are apparently fascinating. It's up to you to get rid of the two trolls that live here. Uh, we don't have any fire spells. So, we'll use what we've got. Alright, here's our very first battle ever. We're up against trolls. Each one of them has 40 hit points. We only have 10. Ooh. And we're doing one or two damage? Oh, this is bad. And they're doing three damage. Oh, not good. Not good. No, not Gorhole. No, he's dead. I should never have been trusted with these students. Okay. So, you barely finish with the trolls when the dwarf has when the dwarf wanders away to admire a flying buttress, which according to her is from an ancient gnomish civilization. This is all well and good, except for the nearby group of creatures who don't seem to give a flying buttress about architecture. I mean, we can try again. Oh! There's a demon! I thought we were fighting goblins. If we were fighting goblins, this would be no problem. We're fighting demons and wargs! This is not going to be good. Okay, okay. I think we actually got this handled. Keep healing. Very good, actually. Wow. Maybe that first fight was just a fluke. A giant leap forward for architecture. The dwarf finishes her scribbling and thanks you profusely. She hints at what she learned here represents a major leap forward in architecture. She would like to reward you. So, um, we could say that our school's in need of renovations. This would give us two, our refectory, two dormitories, and a student's hall. Or, we could say, can you make the school look better, which would give us four gazebos that we can stack, and an eternity vase. Or, we could ask for an alchemy wing, which would give us a rune scriptorium 
an enchantment workshop, an alchemy room, and a potion workshop. This could be exactly what we need to help us expand the school. We're going to do it. Build us an alchemy wing. All right. Should we keep going? Um, I feel like we really shouldn't. No, we've already lost one student. We better go back. Okay, so, um, Grace is injured, Mark is injured, Christopher is actually unharmed thanks to magic, but Garhol Grook is dead. And I feel bad about that. But, it will not be for nothing. It will not be for nothing. So it's time for us to make an alchemy wing. Specifically, an alchemy tower, I think. So we're just going to stack these. So here we go. A potions room and a potions teacher. So we have Oliver. He's a good teacher. He is unionized, though. However, you are an excellent teacher and you're not unionized. But you are greedy, which pretty much cancels it out. Because now, uh, let's see, I think we're paying 6 gold. This is plus 100%. That's going to make you uh, take 12. You are unionized, but you only take 30%. So, that makes you cost nine. I guess we're going to deal with good. So, great. We have a potion room. Now, an alchemy room. Oh, that's only one big. What about this workshop? Okay, that's, a, that's too big. This rune scriptorium? Ooh, okay. Here's what we're going to do. There's a rune scriptorium. We'll put the alchemy room right next to it. So, for runes teachers, um, you're a bad teacher and you're unionized, so screw you. You're only mediocre, but you're not unionized. Yeah, we'll take you. Then the alchemy room will go right next to it. And so, our alchemy teacher is going to be Jochim or Charles. You're unionized, you're not. Your pedagogy is excellent, though. And you're only mediocre. You're great. We'll take you. And now an enchantment workshop. All right, so you're a good teacher, not unionized. You are unionized. You're only mediocre. Sounds good to me. Um, yeah, you love your job, which is great. You have ancient wisdom, so students learn faster. You are an elder, so you move slower. You're also demoralized, which means you go slowly insane. But that's okay. There we go. We now have an entire alchemy tower here. We don't even really do alchemy, but guess what? Now we have alchemy. So, let's see. We're getting a lot closer to some of these, actually. So, curriculum, shepherd. Oh, I see. We need to produce shepherds. And so far, we've only done 3 out of 20. This one means we need to get 8,000 ma uh, nature mana, and we're doing better. Uh, the Archmage, we need to actually produce one Archmage. I still have no idea how we do that. So off the back of the wagon. Uh, apologies for bothering you, but something fell off the back of a wagon near your school, so I assumed it was yours. All right, we've done this before. So for 100 gold, we get to ch uh, pick a card. So we've already got a shamanic staff. Can we make the staffs better? Huh, I don't know. Wild Breastplate. When a student is at least level 2 in Assassination and level 1 in Druidism. Well, we're not teaching assassins. Hmm. Um, let's get better shaman staffs, I think. Can we use two of them at once? Apparently we can. And what do we got going on here? Applicants. So you're an alchemy apprentice. That's great, seeing as how we just opened an alchemy wing. And you are passionate and ambitious. We don't really have a, a house for you yet. Maybe someday. Can we afford a card? No, not yet. But we're close. So very close. There we go. Now we can. So we can get a dolmen, 
Another pig chamber or a shoulder marten? Martins are adorable. When students are at least level 2 in beast magic, they receive a shoulder marten. They can no longer suffer from aberrations. The toad is out is a familiar, the marten is in, most likely because of the fact that it's less sorted and cannot be accidentally squished between two books as easily. That's true. We're getting shoulder martens. Enjoy your new pets. I wonder if I can find anyone who actually has it. I love the werewolf students. What's going on here? Would somebody please take care of this? What even is this? Um... I don't know how to deal with this. Do you know how to deal with this? Okay, he knew how to deal with it. That's good. Thank you. So you are a nature teacher. I don't know why you couldn't handle this then. You're a beast teacher. Ooh, the giant forest troll rides. Um, a sleep spell could slow him down? We don't have any, any people who do sleep spells. We have new applicants, though. So you're a gourmet? You can go with the badgeroos. And you're an alchemy apprentice. You go with the general class, but enjoy the new alchemy wing. What else do we have going on? We're bored. We don't know what to do. There's nothing fun in the student's hall. Um, I could buy them a critter. Sure. Let's buy them a critter. <gasps> a cat! There's also the plant lady scholar's hands. So this creature wanders around the school and reduces the need, all the needs of characters working in the same room. There's another fawn. However, they said they're bored, so you know what? We're going to give them this. As much as I would love to get a kitty. We're going to get them this. Now, where can we put it? Um, There's really nowhere left over here. We could put it in this room. There we go. A plant that eats students' hands. Still bored? Because you're not going to be after this. Fortunately, we're like really skilled in herbalism, so we can heal those wounds. And we get our first alchemy card. What do we got? So we can get a library, a rune scriptorum, or a potion workshop. I kind of want to get a library. We're going to get a library. Ooh, and it's a tall building too. Let's put the library up here. I like that. Wow, look at that library. That place is cool. Look at this place. This is looking wonderful. I love it. Okay, great. What else do we have going on? Okay, we paid wages, so our gold hurts now. Ooh, we have graduates. So thanks to their great knowledge of plants, Sonia... Uh, has become an herbalist. All potions become 50% more efficient. We could try again, but there's really no reason to. So there you go. And being more attracted to the life with beast and magic, Lucy has become a shepherd, which gives us 100 natural mana and gold. Yes! Yes! Thank you! Good job! And we have new applicants. So you're a comical, you're also chosen by the light. Uh, you just got to go in the general class for now. Sorry that I can't put more of you in your own houses, but I just, I can't. There's, there's no houses to put you into. You don't fit. So what do we have here? What can we do now? Well, it's daytime. We could try seeing if anyone wants to talk to us. So let's contact the guildies. Welcome to the guild! What do you need? You need a team of adventurers to plunder a dungeon? That is our specialty, but we have a diverse package of other services. A mercenary mage from the camp walks towards you and challenges you to a duel. Just a friendly magic duel to get the blood pumping. Um... So... We could just make a statement that together we can fight the armies of darkness. That's great. That'll give us a little bit of, um, a reputation with them. We could say we're on the same team. We wouldn't happen to have any loot. 
That would give us a little bit of gold. It's not worth the reputation, though. Um, any artifacts? No, that loses a lot of reputation that we don't have to lose. But here's what we're going to do. Um, ooh, we would lose three prestige points. We're working hard for those prestige points these days. But it is an additional 20 reputation with them. Yeah. Okay. We'll go ahead and let him win. So we, we lost three prestige, but at least we made the, the guild feel better about themselves. Who else can we go talk to? Oh, the sleeping troll is almost up. One more event and he wakes up. I can't contact him? I can't contact anyone right now. Um, okay then. Well, what can we do? Can we get into the card? We can. Okay, so we can get a rune stone. Uh, active students in this room slightly improve their rune skills. A ritual orc painting, which gives us the chance of having more half orcs. Or a drooler. This creature wanders the school, slowly cleaning rooms it passes through. Um, I kind of want to get the rune stone, actually. Now, which was the rune room? This one? Yeah, the rune scriptorum. So put the rune stone in here. There we go. So now they will slightly improve their rune skills while they're working on runes. Fantastic. We can't afford any new cards, though. So what do we have going on here? So, new applicants, you're steadfast and chosen by the light. You can go with the Badgeroos. We paid our salaries. What's going on here? Oh, right, it's off the back of the wagon again. So, what do you have? Another shamanic staff, another wolf's tooth, or an alchemical talisman. When a student is at least one level in enchantment and runes, they get an alchemical talisman. They now generate 30% more alchemy when they're studying. Sure, we'll get that. That helps. Um, so you're still here. And you know what? You wanted to, or you wanted to help us. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to spend 75 gold. We're going to get a stadium. This room is huge. However, this will actually connect our school up. Boom. And look at that. By joining them, we have made one giant castle. I love it. So how is this going to help us? Uh, the room in which your students entertain themselves and make buckets of gold. Players get tired and injured, but they generate prestige for you. <gasps> it's a source of gold. Speaking of gold, now we don't have any because we just paid people. We do have an applicant here. You're diligent, which is very good. But you're going to have to go in the general class. Oh, I think they're actually going to do it. I think they're actually going to do it. He's on a horse. Or no, these are Pegasus. That one's got wings. Who's going to try? Is anyone going to try? I guess not. Well, that's that's okay. Um, we can get another alchemy card. So what do we got? We can get it at the library. We can get new half orc students or another rune emporium. We're doing pretty good with the rune thing right now. Let's let's upgrade the rune room. Boom! Just like that. Fantastic. I wonder if there's a maximum level you can upgrade these rooms to. So our stable is level 2, which is good. Our nature room is only level 1. The dolmen is level 1. The greenhouse is level 0, actually. Huh. I didn't see that coming. Alright, so what are we going on? We paid more. That's fine. We have new applicants. So you're just a light sleeper? Uh, you go with the general class. And the orcs are hungry again. Um, so we could tell them to eat the peasants, but no, we're not going to do that. That would be dumb. 
We could make them waffles if we had a waffle maker. We don't. We could have a cheese banquet if we had one of those. The Tsar Saroth whatever dish. We have nothing to give you, though. Uh, we could go talk to someone, though. So, who are we going to talk to? Let's visit the troll. Now, here's something we might be able to do. Here's something we might be able to do. So, we could leave him be. Whatever. Are those diamonds? If we give us gold, but yeah. However, if we restore harmony to the forest, it might help him sleep better. This is going to cost us 200 nature magic. But, it will keep him asleep for a little bit longer. And, we'll get prestige out of it. Huh. Or, we could do this, but we don't have any private bedrooms. No, we're going to restore harmony to the forest. Done. And just like that, the reputation goes up to 85. Or, no, 65. That's great. We're still getting closer to the nature specialist, which is good. I don't think we're going to get there today, but it's possible. What's going on in here? They are so hard at work. I love it. They're doing good. And there's literally nothing else going on. It's too late at night for us to talk to anyone else. We can't afford any cards. I guess all we can really do now is just sit back and enjoy the fruits of our labor. New day, though. Oh, wait, look at them go. They're jousting in the air on Pegasus. That was incredible. I wish we had seen more of it. All right, we paid salaries. What's this? We have more people who are growing up. We have another shepherd. Fantastic. And you want to become an adventurer? Thanks to their creativity and varied talents, Cynthia wants to be an adventurer. Yeah. Being more attracted to life with beasts, Victoria wants to become a shepherd. Absolutely. And Mark wants to be a shepherd. Done. So, thanks to their limited knowledge of nature magic, Christopher wants to become a ritual ma uh, master. This will give us 50 nature magic. There's also a pretty low chance. There's a better chance of them becoming a sandman. Whatever that is. This also gives us prestige. But I'm thinking maybe we should try again. Let's... Let's try again. You're going to become an herbalist, actually. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Um, sure, go ahead. So, thanks to their green thumb and diligence in druidism, Maud is going to become a gardener. That's great. Good job. Due to their middling magical talents, Jeremy is going to become a village mage. Village mage is only a 13% chance, but there is a... 45% chance of them being something better. But nope, you're just going to be a village mage. Well, I wish you well in your on your, your journeys. Alright, so being more attracted to life, Daniel wants to become a shepherd. Yes, more shepherds. You want to be a shepherd. You're a shepherd now. Thanks to their range of abilities from making soup to caring for animals, Henry wants to become an innkeeper. That's actually interesting. No, follow your dreams. Due to middling magical talents, Gwendolyn wants to become a village mage. And it looks like we can't really do much better for you, so you should be a village mage. Thanks to their limited knowledge in nature magic, they're going to become, or Beth wants to become a ritual master? I think you can do better. Uh, you did do a little bit better. You're, you're going to be a village mage. And due to their middling magical talents, Gregor wants to become a village mage. I don't think you can do much better, but you could try. Nope, there you go, right there. You can become a gardener. Shoot for the stars. 
and thanks to their creativity and varied talents, Kevin wants to be an adventurer. I think you could do better, but the 200 gold might help. See if you can do better, though. You're going to be an herbalist now. This, this is what you're better at. So there we go. Congratulations, people. I'm proud of almost all of you. So, uh, we now have a new applicant. Nomi Timau? You're steadfast, so you can go with the Badgeroos. Jill, you're an arcane scholar and an alchemy apprentice, but I don't have a school for you, so you're just gonna have to be in the general class. But look at how much mana we have now. We can get a new potion card. So we can get scales. All portion cards become more 40% more effective. Or protective goggles. When a student is at least level 2 in potions, they receive protective goggles, making learning alchemy also generates gold. Yes! Protective goggles. More gold. We can't get another alchemy card yet, but we can get another nature card. Fairy butterfly wings? When a student is at least level 1 in herbalism and elementalism, they receive fairy butterfly wings, which prevent them from misbehaving. We don't have the ability to teach people to be elementalists, but you know what? We're going to get this anyway. That's for the future. We can't get another one of those. We can get something from the standard deck, though. So we can get another common room, a student hall, or an alchemy room. We already have a good alchemy room. We could get another student hall, though. That would help alleviate boredom. And boredom does seem to be up. Or we get another common room. I want to get another common room. We don't have anyone to put in it yet, though. But that does mean that we can have two common rooms for the general class. It is a big class. Ooh, what is this? Having a stadium is nice, but a stadium that generates wealth is better. You need a sponsor! Uh, so, if we take a sponsor, we lose 10 prestige, and we're up to 44! And we get a stadium card. Uh, so we can just say we'll put the money in ourselves, which will give us more prestige, another stadium card. We lose 350 gold, but you know what? It could be worth it. Or we can just say no. No, we're going to do it ourselves. We're going to do it ourselves. So here's a stadium. Boom. Now we've got flags and banners. So we paid salaries. We have new people coming in. You're unbreakable? Well, that's good. You can go with the general class. You're popular. You're just going to go with the general class. You're a gourmet, though. You can go with the Badgeroos. Unbreakable? You're with the general class. You're a child of nature, though. And a shadow disciple. Weird combination. General class. And we can do one more visit. Can we visit the sleeping troll again? Okay, so, sleeping troll. Again, we're going to try and restore the forest. We do have the 200 natural mana. We're going to do it. There we go. So we're now up to 51 prestige. The sleeping troll is at only a negative 40. I think we've got a solution here for this guy. We're just going to keep working on the forest around him, and that will keep him asleep. However, as it stands right now, I'm getting long on time. So we're going to have to take a break here. I don't exactly know what this is. Oh, the Lord of Evil's power grows throughout the course of the gameplay and until it fills the gauge and becomes necessary to flee and build a new school. <gasps> we're running out of time. Okay, um, so here's what we're going to do. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take a break here. Our school is doing good, but we don't really have a way to fight the Lord of Evil yet. I don't know. We're, we're going to have to work on that in the next game. For the time being... We're, we're just going to have to keep doing. Doing as we're doing. Alright, so, if you're enjoying this, then make sure you subscribe, make sure you hit the bell icon so you're here for every video when they come out. If you know somebody else who also enjoys magic and schools, and maybe even the books about the magic and the schools, even though we have nothing to do with those books, then share the video with them. 
then come back, leave a like, leave a comment down below, and I will see you next time for more Spellcaster University. And until then, take care. <laughs>